Greetings, and welcome to Banished. This is a new series that I'm starting. Very excited about it. I've played the Banished Vanilla before, and the Colonial Charters 1.5, 1.6. This is very exciting because there's a new huge mod out called Mega Mod, and it's all kinds of goodness for Banished. Uh, it includes Colonial Charter 1.7 Alpha, and so many, so many other mods. To briefly read from the forum posts over at ColonialCharter.com, it says, The Mega Mod is the ultimate Banished Mod experience. 83 mods and counting. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. New content, new everything. Uh, so I'm super happy to explore it, start off a new series of Banished here. So let's get right into it and begin a new game. I have kind of messed around and uh, tested with a couple different uh, terrain types here. And I think I'm going to do a, a Swamp Lakes. Or no, not Swamp Lake, uh, Swamp Valleys. Yeah, I liked the Swamp Valleys. Um, I like mountains myself. And the swamp, uh, the swamp looked pretty good, and I think it'll be good for growing crops in as well. We're just gonna go with a train size large. I tried out the CC large, and it was huge, very, very big. Um, the climate, I'm not sure. I guess we're gonna go with uh, very mild, just so I can grow a lot of crops on here. I want this series to be just about like exploring the entire mod pack and uh, trying to build everything in it, right? Like, I'm not testing myself uh, on my banished skills. I just kind of want to see what this new mod's about, what uh, Colonial Charter 1.7 is about as well. Um, and the starting condition, medium plus, this one's pretty awesome because it starts you with uh, some crops. Let's say you get uh, five families, a uh, storage barn, some seeds for fields and orchards, and uh, some livestock. All right, let's generate this. And it'll take a quick second to load here. Luckily, I've got a nice computer. And we are recording at 1440p, 60 frames per second. I scaled the UI up just a little bit so that, uh, or I should say, I guess I scaled it down so that the UI was bigger on my screen. Because I love the 1440p, but it can make it a little hard for, uh, just for viewing in general. Alright, so let's take a quick uh, overview look of uh, where we are. And to do that, let's pop up open our, uh, let's open up our uh, menu here. So yeah, if you go to Tools and Report, uh, show an overhead map of the area. So we got a small one, which is hotkey three, a medium one, and look at this, a huge one. This one's so big, I love it. I love it. And uh, you can see the different colors too, right? Like, so this Mega Mod, it's pretty cool what they've tried to do. They've, they've tried to done, no, 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 sorry about that. What they've tried to do is like, group the different mods by different colors here. So if, I, if we drill into uh, this Mega Mods details pane, you see there's a blue, there's a green, there's a red, there's a purple, there's a orange and a yellow. And so literally when we like go over to these different tabs, you can literally see like, oh yeah, this is a yellow mod, this is a, a blue mod, and uh, you can kind of figure it out from there. It's pretty cool. So the starting uh, location, I actually really like it. We're really close. You can see a big river comes in, and there's a lake, and then there's another river, and then a bunch more lakes. But what's good about this river is uh, traders can come here. So we basically started off like exactly where we want to be because we can do some easy trading. Uh, and it looks like we started off with sheep. Sheep aren't too bad. So yeah, not such a bad uh, start. So first thing I'm going to do is build just some regular dirt roads here. Or maybe some country roads. They're the exact same, I believe, only cosmetically different. So we're just going to make like a T, it's a pretty standard opening. Uh, oh, and we need to, uh, let's pop up the rest of our user interface. The general stats and the event log here. 
move that down. And of course the professions list. So with this, this mod as well, and with Colonial Charter, you get all these cool new way to view professions. Whoa. Yeah, you can see they're just like hopping out everywhere here. Uh, but the one I like, one that seems to work the best is this, uh, not that one, uh, this one. Vertical scrolling professions list. It's like this, the smallest, but still shows you the most. So you can drill down and uh, find them. Um, I might even just use, check out this one. This one's really cool. It just literally shows only the professions like you need, right? So right now I only need builders because they don't really have anything else. Uh, so they're going to get to building the road. What I am going to do is let's plop down a, uh, let's see, I want a fishing wharf and I want a little gatherer's hut. I know the fishing wharf will just go right here. So let's just pop that one down first. So we're going to go to food production, I believe. Yes. And then raw food gathering. And then, oh, so check this out. So we got a mini fisherman placed on a river to find an area for catching fish. Then we have our other fishing dock and another fisherman. Hmm. You know, I'm curious. I kind of want to try these like tiny little things. And look, there's a mini gatherer too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's do the mini one. <laughs> This is like my first time uh, using a lot of these mods that aren't Colonial Charters, so uh, you know, we're going to extend this road out. Yeah, because eventually there'll probably be, oh, well, that'd be a really long bridge. Ah, whatever. We're just going to build it at the end then. Yeah, there we go. Maybe about here, I believe. And our country road. Oh, we might be off. No, it was perfect. It's perfect. Okay, let's get the fishermen up. We got builders assigned. So that's where the fisherman's gonna be. Uh, I feel like down here is where we're gonna try to put like our colony, since it kind of dead ends here. What? Yeah, I think we might put more industry, like say over here. Maybe put a little, little gathering up here as well, just to get started with. Uh, so yeah, let's check out that uh, tiny gatherers. Wow, this mini fisherman builds uh, food production, raw resources, mini gatherer. Yeah, I like this. Gonna plop it down as much trees and stuff as we can. And for now, we're not even gonna connect a road up to it. Eventually, we will, but uh, I need to build houses and other stuff. I just kind of want to get some food production down. I noticed in Banished, if you've got food, you've got happy people. Alright. Sign another. So this professions list actually isn't showing me what I want it to be because there's no. So we need to open up our other professions list for sure. There we go. Yeah, we've got plenty of screen real estate too. I'm just gonna plop that over here, and our mini fisherman is assigned. I wish these windows would be a little smaller. Guess there's no way of doing that, but it's all right. We're gonna. So we're gonna get our food up, right? We're gonna have our fishermen, we're gonna have our gatherer. And we need some homes for our people especially. So let's actually start, I'm gonna pause it right quick. So we've got a mini house, which is like a tent. It's pretty cool. Uh, these row houses, these are made out of lumber and I don't think we have any lumber yet. Ooh, there's so much fancy stuff we're gonna get into here. Medieval, yeah, that's this is all fancy. We've got a so we've got a mini house that's ten wood, ten logs, settlers tents. Oh, looks like a circus tent sort of. Uh, tent with fire. This is cool. This looks like a teepee. Tiny shack. I remember this one from Colonial Charter. 
Log cabin, yeah. So the blue guys are colonial charter. Ooh, small home. That looks very sharp. Just, it's, uh, it costs the same number as the wood house. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, 16 and 8. Uh, you know, I want to I want to try some new stuff. So I think I'm going to try with some of these tents with fires. And they look so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see where we can put these in. Uh, we also need to build a field eventually for our animal friends here. But I'm going to do two of these guys. I'm going to actually pause this first one. Let's build one of these, and I'm gonna. Cause I like leaving little spaces as well. It uh, I feel like it helps me out here, leaving little spaces. Yeah, cause we we probably want to go further down as well. This is gonna be our city part, so we want to go. We want to build some more road going down here, for sure. All right, professions. We got three builders. Let's bump that up. Oh, look at that. We're getting some fish from our mini fishermen. Nice. Do that, and let's do. We've got enough logs right now. We are gonna need to mine some, but for now we're good. We'll do the second house as well. Alright, so we've got a uh, mini gatherer still taking his time. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. I know we're also going to need a uh, person cutting our firewood. Firewood's pretty important. Not right now because it's early spring, but when it gets colder, people tend to freak out in this game. Perfect. Let's put down one more house. And let's assign more builders. First tent with fire is done here. Nice. Yeah, it's very teepee like. These other ones up. Uh, and then here, I think this is going to be like a. Give me like a cut off here. Build the road there. There we go. So our mini gatherer is done as well. So let's add a person there. See all the cool stuff they collect. So where are we gonna put our logger at? That's a big one. I think over here. Yeah. Definitely gonna need some some wood coming in here. Yeah, look at this. So this road even still cut up here. So let's check out our, our logging options. Uh, resource. I think it's resource production, right? Forest and loggers. Yeah, here we go. Forester. Garden shed. A shed for an urban forester. Oh, interesting. Mini forester. Of course we've got a mini forester. <laughs> You know, we could just put the mini forester out here with the uh, the other. Uh, just how many? I don't know. We do have quite a few workers open, and I feel like wood is something we need a lot. Uh, forester lodge is 32. Yeah, and 12 stone. Let's do it. Cause look, we've got this pretty large patch here. So let's yeah, let's line this up. Right, there we go. Get 
that building. And we're gonna extend the road out here. Oh, see it's all funky and like uh, not... It's like not uh, completely level right here. Which I think there is a mod to fix that, but let's not deal with that right now. Uh, let's, let's let him just get out of here and build. It'll be fine uh, for now. Yeah, it'll be fine for now. Extending that one. And let's speed things up a little bit here. So I gather uh, some onions here. It's pretty nice. And they're gonna extend the road out a little bit. You know what I do need to do is plop down a plop down a uh, stockpile over here. Of course, stockpiles are very important in this game. Stockpile. Oh, we got transparent stockpiles now. Let's try it out. Transparent stockpile. Nice. Yeah. Done. There we go. They can put the wood here. So yeah, stockpiles are super important because it's where your people deposit all your raw resources at. So as they like destroy uh, trees and such, you can see over here they're they gonna remove these five of eight trees. They'll come and put them back over the stockpile here. Roads make your people walk faster too. Just in case you didn't know. a lot going on in Banished, for sure. It can be a little overwhelming, especially with these uh, these mods that add so much, but luckily I've played a little bit, so I'm familiar enough to just kind of get the idea of what's going on here. Oh, man, our gatherer is knocking out of the park here. 44 blueberries, mushrooms, wild seeds, flax, onions. That's gonna make people happy. Food diversity is another thing where you want different crops. Uh, and speaking of crops, I need to check out after we get this uh, forest lodge up. You might want to start checking out uh, what our other food options were. But it is also getting uh, later into this episode. I'm trying to keep these episodes to about 20 minutes each. I think that's the sweet spot for a gaming series. I know my attention span isn't perfect, so I'm going to try to keep it shorter here. Uh, we're so close to finishing this forest garage. So close. Lodges up. Add some people. Is that all four of them? Nice. This is a pretty good uh, start to the series, I believe. We've got a mini gatherer, mini fisherman, and a full size forester lodge ready to start chopping down this wood and providing us with planks. Uh, yeah, I think in the next episode, I gotta build a person to cut firewood for sure and uh, we'll probably check out what kinds of orchard seeds and kind of uh, crop seeds I've got as long as as well as trying to make a, a pin for my sheep people here but I think this is going to be in this episode thanks so much for watching if you enjoy the video please leave a like or a comment let me know what's up um, I'm going to be doing this as a series going forward now, so expect lots and lots more episodes out of me for uh, the Banished Mega Mod. I am very excited to get back into Banished. I've been playing Starbound a lot. I had been recording a series for Starbound. I still am recording, not past tense. I still am. I'm wrapping it up, uh, and this is going to be like my next big game series. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see you later.